Terrorists can destroy from Palmyra to London Underground whatever they want, but they cannot create. They will be never able to do Ode to Joy, and they will be never able to create free arts. And we suffer of migration because migrants and refugees are seeking to come to Europe to share Europe. They love Europe and they admire Europe. Why? Because of its free creativity. We have troubles in our environment, in the Middle East, with Russia, with our partners. We are facing Brexit. But as we saw in last weekend, I must say, I strongly believe, and I believe with you, and you believe with me in one thing, that we are all united in diversity, and that exactly will be European creativity, not European economy, not European democracy, not European human rights, and not European respect to rule of law, but exactly the creative approach which will always help us to keep together, to sustain, and basically to do for a better future. Now you might ask, and what this European institution representative is doing here again in Namibian gallery, if you look at this marvelous piece of Namibian art, it speaks about institutions and communication. Institutions are soft and solid. Communication is the organic part below. And again, this is why we are here, because we are trying to find an organic way how to communicate the effort of European institutions in Namibia. Does beautiful Namibia need European creativity? I was a lucky person. Last week I was swimming in Kunene River and six weeks ago I was swimming, swimming in Fish Canyon. I have never seen such a paradise and I have never seen such a beautiful country as Namibia is. We all pay very deep respect to the beauty of Namibian lakes, landscape, to the beauty of Namibian people, and to creativity of Namibian people. So why we are here, we European institutions, we European member states, we are here to take a creative approach, how to support for principles, and how to support eradication of poverty, inclusion of Namibia in the world economy, and of course, the sustainable growth. And together with you, our implementing partners, and dear Namibians, we are creative in these approaches, as keeping Namibia very high in all kinds of charts of African continent. So I'm very proud to say that the European Union and especially member states, we do support not only anymore investment in the BRICS, but investment in human beings. We are no more creating Namibian schools, but we are trying to find a creative effort how to support Namibian teachers, how to support Namibian farmers, how to create better Namibians. Therefore, we will be very, very happy if Namibian Parliament will ratify a new instrument, economic partnership agreement, which will allow us for more free creative approach to our mutual trade. And as well, we are very happy having Namibia as a strategic venue of a very strategic discussion which will happen in the mid of June which is Joint Parliamentary Assembly of African, Caribbean, Pacific and European Union members of parliaments. More than 300 members of parliaments will gather in Windhoek for strategic discussion 
on post-Cotonou agreement, so we can only congratulate Namibia for these marvelous efforts, and we strongly believe, as this is just a New Beginnings exhibition, that we really will be able to go for more and better New Beginnings together with the creativity of marvelous Namibian people. Thank you.